track reviews. Hey, 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 everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it is time for a track review. My thoughts on a brand new song and single. This time it is from one of the biggest breakout pop artists out there right now, Miss Billie Eilish, of course, collaborating on and creating a new song with her brother, none other than producer extraordinaire, Phineas. Uh, Let's hear what these two have drummed up during the pandemic. The cover looks like, I don't know, beautiful still from like an anime or something. (laughs) Super uh, introspective in a way and uh, isolated, dark, but kind of magical as well with the uh, starry night sky and that uh, big full moon. But uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this track, Billie Eilish, My Future, the single, ba-bam. Okay, I like that quite a bit. Sonically and stylistically, I don't think it's the most original track that Phineas and Billy have ever drawn up, but this is still a pretty enjoyable song. To kick things off, we have very spotlit, bare vocals, jazzy chords in the background. Once we progress past the raw intro of the track, we start getting like this bassy, thick, uh, very subtle swell of instrumentation or just tones underneath Billy's voice. And while it is quiet, it is subtle. There is like a real power to it that you feel like it could get louder. It could go harder. Like there could be a rush on the way. Uh, it's, it's like being held very gently in like a, a gigantic strong hand. <laughs> Then, as the track seems to get more and more pillowy and dreamy, uh, we suddenly get a tight, danceable beat. A pretty uh, cool, slick bass line as well. Some cute rhythm guitar. And we essentially transition into a bass-heavy and groovy piece of pop soul that almost uh, feels like a 90s throwback to my ears. But here it's being executed with Billy's trademark, very low-key, very moody vocals. And the groove, the bass line, and the tune to an extent reminds me of something else. Maybe not specifically something from that era, but I swear it reminds me of something else, and it's driving me fucking crazy. I I listened to this and uh, a few times over, and honestly, like I stopped it part of the way through because the drums and the bass like hit me so hard. It just like gave me this huge sense of deja vu that I could not get over, and and whatever like the source of inspiration is or the likeness to another track that I'm thinking of, it it's just like I, it's it's I, I I can't recall it. I can't recall. It. I'm going nuts over it. Honestly, still I would say it's a beautiful execution. Phineas and Billy continue to just know exactly how to empower Billy vocally in terms of their writing and also the production end of things as well, because even though Billy vocally is not like a powerhouse or anything like that, her voice does always sound great on their tracks. It always sounds really well placed and there's a a certain amount of drama to what she conveys too. So, you know, they continue to display it and just work within her vocal parameters really well. Um, The lyrics I thought were kind of interesting with Billy essentially being in love with or excited for (laughs) her future. (laughs) At least someone's looking forward to it. Not her future specifically, but you know, the future generally, you know what I'm saying. But uh, the, the track is kind of like a breakup song and reminiscing on that lonely period immediately post breakup where you should feel bad and you should feel alone, but instead Billy is feeling uh, happy with herself. She's liking herself. She's getting to know herself. There even is a point toward the back end of the track where she seems to consider getting back into the relationship, but she uh, uh, turns against that prospect, reiterating she's looking forward to this future and she will see us or some other person or whatever she has in mind in a couple of years. So uh, taking a kind of a sabbatical to uh, love and and know yourself, which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing. Certainly smarter and a bit more thoughtful than your average love or breakup song for sure. So yes, I will restate once again, uh, I liked this track. I thought it was pretty good. Again, not nearly as moody or as dark or as left field as a lot of the stuff on uh, When We All Fall Asleep, but uh, still has a nice groove, has a nice tune to it, uh, relatively catchy, uh, pillowy, beautiful, alluring, 
danceable to and uh, cute to boot on the lyrical end. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this track. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Anthony Fantano, Billie Eilish, my future forever. <laughs>